I'm Karen Gorman Jones. I'm my niece, Gorman Gorman. And this is my mother. I'm married to Albert Jones. We have four children, Chaz, Eric, Bryce, and Dia. And in addition to my family and my mom, I'm also an educator for the last 33 years. So I use the word phenomenal um, to describe my mother because she has always been a woman who defied the odds. Before Inez was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, um, she was uh, very outgoing, um, a, a very happy lady that um, never met a stranger, um, very talkative, uh, very engaged with her grandchildren. I first started noticing changes in my mom around 2006. There were times she had a women's choir and they would meet at her house and we had rehearsal every Tuesday or Monday. And all of a sudden when we started having rehearsal and the people would come, she would say, nobody told me we were having rehearsal. Why are these people here? And so it was little things like that that started making me become concerned that something just wasn't right. However, her primary care doctor um, would not address any of my concerns. She got another primary care physician who also started noticing little things after a, a year or so of treating my mom. And she, in turn, referred us to a geriatric doctor. And maybe about a year later, um, then he said that she did. When she first got diagnosed with it, uh, Karen sort of called a family huddle and told us um, what was going on with the diagnosis and what the challenges were gonna be. Uh, and I remember one of the things she said is, um, it's, you're going to see things that will change with grandma that aren't her, it's the disease. To this day, I still say it was one of the best decisions I ever made. When I walked in, everybody was so friendly. It was a support group in Solon and everybody was so friendly and they were laughing and they were having fun and they were enjoying each other. And I was like, wait, aren't they supposed to be like crying and everything? And it was nothing like I imagined it. Um, for my mom, just that socialization and that engagement in the groups, the pictures that my mother made at the for Minds in Motion are up in our house. They are like a symbol of what my mother was is still capable of doing. Caregivers need the Alzheimer's Association. Many people think it's for the Alzheimer's patient, and in a way it is because it is helping with research, it is helping getting the word out, but the uh, services that it gives caregivers is just beyond anything that I could imagine. When my grandma was first diagnosed, I remember that we sat down as a family with somebody from the association that explained to us what Alzheimer's was and what would be expected to come throughout the years of her diagnosis. One of the main reasons I decided to take a volunteer role with the Alzheimer's Association because it has helped me and my family in many aspects of this journey. First and foremost, it has given us a reason to hope. The group, the activities, the personnel have all brought an enormous amount of support, encouragement, and purpose. I've been coordinating an annual gospel benefit concert to honor my mother, and the proceeds have been donated to the Alzheimer's Association through the longest day. How we sing together and do our, in the choir and everything, how much do you enjoy us doing that together? Oh, I love it. In the years that we've been doing with this now, I think almost 15 years now, uh, we've actually seen the fruit of our investment and the time that we put into it from the concerts that Karen gives to the walk and the flag football and everything else that she's done over the years. Um, I think it's important that we give back just because, honestly, I don't know where our family would be without the Alzheimer's Association. From that first meeting up until now, I have no clue where we would be without them. This is a difficult task, um, but I wouldn't have it any other way. My mother has always been the wind beneath my wings. And everything that I am is because of who she is. Um, 
And so I believe now it's, just, it's my turn. We know that we are in this for the long haul and, and are doing what we can for the Alzheimer's Association and for my mother.